Hello, Jane. Just checking your ship's manifest. Standard procedure. Welcome to Groundbreaker, by the by. Don't mind the heat. Got a few days before it reaches critical. I'm sure Miss Chief Tennyson will get it sorted before then. I'm sorry. What exactly do you mean by reaches critical? Still reviewing your manifest. Why not head on over to the promenade? Lots to keep you occupied there. Yeah, I just, I really wanted to clarify what you meant by critical and heat. I mean, are you saying that it could get a little sweaty around here and we need to stock up on handkerchiefs to wipe our brow? Or do you mean we're all going to get turned into our component atoms because this place is going to go supernova? Th there is an important distinction between those two. I'm tempted to leave you behind here and keep the engines running, although they seem to be ticking over. We may end up... Captain. Hey, Captain. I'm in space. I never thought I'd be able to say that. Right. Well, let's just hope we can say that from the comfort of a space station and not, That's not from... The point. This half would just knock out one of my workers. Yeah, with a toss ball stick, I heard you the first time. There weren't any witnesses. No witnesses? He's not even denying it. Jackass had it coming. Shut it, Felix. You're not making this any better. You get two with me again, you little back bay brat, I will toss you out an airlock. This is the groundbreaker, not Byzantium. You ain't the law here. I am. Now move along. I don't have time for this. I need a drink. Okay, right. Nothing to do with us. We need to find Gladys and also the engineer for Parvati and then... Try to not be Customs here. Customs and inspection, right this way. When things go critical. Um. Identification, please. Oh. Mm, my name's Montgomery. It's my first time here. I don't have an ID. What happens? Let's just present Hawthorne's ID and. Sh oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Um. There's somebody who works here who actually knows Hawthorne. My name is Montgomery. It's it's my first time here. You've got a ship, but you've never visited Groundbreaker. <laughs> you must have just dusted off from one of those dirt side outposts. Right. Sure did. And now we're in space. Well, welcome to Groundbreaker. I'm sorry to tell you this, but I'm about to ruin your day. According to your ship's record, you've been flagged by the board. Your ship will be impounded until such a time as they see fit to lift it. Ooh, why? I'm stuck here with the heat and the critical. Not stuck, per se. You could always throw yourself out the airlock. Of course, then you'd find yourself with an exciting new problem. Uh, how to stop being annoyed by your face? <sighs> Any idea why my ship was impounded? Access to that information is above my pay grade, and I've turned down three promotions, so it stays that way. I shouldn't be mentioning it, but what the hell? This here, impounding your ship, it doesn't happen much. The board knows we don't take kindly to their interfering in our operations. If I had to take a guess as to why, you probably riled up the wrong petty board bureaucrat. Uh, man named Udom Bedford. Uh, right. Yeah, I'm going to wring his neck. No, I'll go and talk to him and straighten it out. You take the starch out of him, well, you won't hear any complaints from me. That's... Oh, and if you're headed that way, would you mind doing me a favor? Right. Sure. Wanda Dorset over in sickbay, tell her the shipment's not in yet. It's not coming in anytime soon, and if she'd be so obliged to get off my ass about it. Uh, her, her shipment? A handful of Sam cleaning units retrofitted for surgery. I don't know much else. I stopped listening when she started yelling. Sam. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, could that help me on my quest for uh, the the Sam I've got? Never mind. Yes, got it. Much appreciated. Is there anything else I can help you with? <sighs> I'm looking for... Oh, um... Oh. 
everything. I'm looking for someone named Gladys. The fence. You'll find her in the rest and go. On your left when you enter the promenade. Okay, that's... Make sure you bring an empty belly. An empty bed, but why? Um, what can you tell me about Udon Bedford? He's friendly enough unless you speak ill of the board. Get the sense he doesn't care for Groundbreaker much. Okay. Not that he would, being a board man and all. He's our liaison. He's a board man. Got it. Um, sounds like a fun guy. Um, yeah. So there's tension between the Groundbreaker and the board. They can't abide an independent township. Especially not one they got to depend on. We're the first and last stop out of this colony. All their interstellar freighters come through us, and we skim a few bits off the top and manifest processing fees with every one. Folks around here will bluster that the board hates our freedom, but really, they know we can stop their out-system shipments anytime we like, and that terrifies them. Right. Yet your station's in a state of disrepair. You could make the board fix it. Why can't the gray gr groundbreaker and the board just get along? I'm glad it terrifies them. The bastards keep pushing them. Right. Um. Yeah. Okay. Can't you make the board fix it? Do you mean the heat? Sure, we can make them fix it. But what would they do in retaliation? They got assault cruisers, gunships, and a handful of mining operations at their fingertips. We push them too hard, maybe they decide we'd be better in 10 trillion little pieces. Or they cobble together a new groundbreaker and put us out of business. The board wouldn't do that, would they? It's a tough line to walk, no doubt about that. But we may do all right, so far anyway. Right, so the board runs most of the systems, but not here. This place is independent. Yep, groundbreaker's the only real independent port. Aside from us, there's just tramp freighters and wildcat miners. Seems like every year the board's offices get bigger and their ships take up more of the landing base. Haven't seen nearly as many tramp crews this year. Right, thanks for the info. Sure thing. I'm looking, can I find a job just out of curiosity? Maybe. Most of the shipping traffic in the system passes through Groundbreaker. Every couple of months, we even get a big interstellar freighter. Two biggest operations are the board, that is, Halcyon Holdings and Sublight Salvage. But there are independent operators around the promenade deck. Most of those jobs are going to take you off station, though. <laughs> that would that would work for me. Okay, I'm looking for something. Right, let's. Uh, is there anything a little more local then, job-wise? Commandant Sanita might have a couple of folks she needs killed. Bad folks, I mean. Not, uh, not regular folks. She'll be at the security desk behind me. Right. Chief Jun Lei might have an errand needs running. She's all tied up trying to fix our heat problem. You'll find her in engineering. No kidding? I'd love to get a look at this old girl's innards. I bet they're real twisty and weird. In a good way. Okay, so w this heat problem is actually... We are just talking an actual heat problem. We're not, we're not all going to die, so... We're not... It's not quite as time critical as I was uh, thinking. Okay, got it. How about something long term? What does that mean? No kidding, I'd love to get the, um Oh. Am I asking her if she's trying to get a long term job here? If you're thinking to make a career here. No, I'm asking don't waste him. Time. Okay, that's. Full time jobs on Groundbreaker tend to be inherited. Or go to a fellow crew member's kid. Keep it in the family, you know. Oh. So the total opposite of Space's choice. Okay, how does Halcyon Holdings work anyway? Are you pulling my leg? Yes, I am. I'm, I'm new. I'm just new around here. I'm just, just... You must be one of them long-haul freighters from outside the colony. Well, I won't hold it against you. Goes like this. Back on Earth, before the crossing, the powers that be were selling off stakes in distant star systems they thought had potential. A bunch of companies decided to throw in together and form the Halcyon Holdings Corporation, then buy up the rights to this here colony. That group's what we now call the board. Right, and the board runs most of the systems. Yep, Groundbreaker's the only real independent port. We've had Aside this one. Aside from us, there's just tramp freighters and wildcat miners. Okay, no, we... 
Seems like every year the board's offices get bigger and their ships take up more of the landing bays. Haven't seen nearly as many tramp crews this year. We're going around in circles. How does the groundbreaker fit into that? So there's actually a boardroom somewhere with all these companies, company heads in it. Is there? Is there? Sitting around drinking whiskey and smoking cigars? Yeah, probably. Can't say for sure, of course. Doubt I'll ever see the inside of it myself. Right, and the groundbreaker fits into this as an independent trader who tries its best not to get obliterated. Groundbreaker was one of the original colony vessels to come over on the crossing, a few years before her sister ship, the Hope. Once everybody'd been dethawed and dropped dirt side, the original crew of the groundbreaker decided they rather liked the spacefaring life. I guess that was the start of our independent spirit. Now, here we are. Okay, got it. Glad to help. And I didn't think there were many independent operators in the system. There's not. This is the only one, isn't it? Relative to the board holdings? Not really. But there's a few with the means to go where they will. They aren't rich, but they aren't oh. likely to look too close at your work history either. We're talking about other work opportunities. Got it, got it. What do you know about sublight salvage? They strip the parts from derelict ships and abandoned outposts. There's some that say they make the derelicts and encourage folks to abandon their steads. Sublight gives me the creeps. I've known folks who went to work for them and just vanished. They're on the promenade run by a woman named Lilia Hagen. I'm only telling you so Hagen. you know to avoid them. Hagen. That name sounds familiar. That's all I needed to know about work. All right. And... Okay, if I wanted a drink... Most places are on the promenade deck. Promenade Big deck. Big door yonder, straight through security. There's a bar on the starboard side. Uh, right. I got a preference for the Lost Hope myself. Talk to Vera. The She'll Lost set you right. Hope. Okay, got it. Thank you. You need anything else? You let me know. Don't want anyone saying Groundbreaker's not the most hospitable port in the colony. Well, okay. Be seeing you. I gotta say, so far I'm actually... <laughs> Okay, so I can now go through there, can I? Wait, we're not quite as time critical as I thought we were going to be. Right. So, we can take stock. Taste freedom. Space's choice. Um, I get, I get a bit of a, um, um, oh god. Still hate that. I get a bit of a, um, Savings? What's the word? I've, uh, I've... Here we go! Prices! <laughs> I get a price reduction from the vendors of 25% because of my positive standing with Spacer's Choice. The board! 10%. Slightly positive. Still neutral. Alright, let's... Board approved. Halcyon. And this... Ooh... Flamethrower! Okay, it's expensive. Don't think I'm hopefully not going to need one. Decreased noise, quiet muzzler. Okay, that's a basically a suppressor for assault rifles, maybe. Okay, I'm not sure how we need to play this, but we have to be careful. Udon Bedford knows Hawthorne. I'm going to assume he knows that ship is owned by him as well. He had a thing for him. I don't know whether we should tell him that Hawthorne is dead, though. He's with the board and he has the power to keep our ship in dock. Mardet. Just arrived? Head over to customs. Wheeler needs to process you. Yeah, so I'm thinking... We just check around and get some information here before we speak to you, Dom. Steve, door? We move cargo 16 hours a day and half of us still can't afford a bed. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Okay, that would seem to be a title then. All right, okay. Um, Mardit. It would seem all of these are titles. Right. Hello, Felix. We're, um, new here. Going for a stroll around the docking base? Sort of. I noticed you in the middle of an argument earlier. Sure was. Got a knack for upsetting the board and the Mardettes all at once. 
Between you and me, I was hoping they'd come to fisticuffs. Okay? It's almost like you wanted to get arrested. Yeah, because I knocked my foreman out with a tossball stick. But, to be fair, I wasn't the one who started it. The guy was insulting my Rizzo's Rangers. Look, if it's a crime to defend your favorite tossball team against slander and calumny, well then lock me right up. I know, right? I mean, seriously, who... Who... the Rizzo Rangers? Only the finest group of tossball players ever to take the field. Right. He's a spacer's chosen man, though. So when the Chosen beat my Rangers the other night, my foreman comes swaggering up with his head full of boasting. So you defend the honor of your team? Of course you do. Of course you do. And then you resolved your differences like an adult. No, no, no. You defended the honor of your team. Of course you did. Exactly. Absolutely. I was only doing what any self-respecting Rangers fan would have done. Of course. Look, this was a long time coming. Guy thinks he can push me around because he's some sky-high foreman and I'm just a back bay's dock worker. Back bay's dock worker? Well, former dock worker. Guess I just tendered my resignation. Uh, sounds like you're better off on your own. You're lucky you're not serving a sentence. Sounds like you're better... Got any plans? Enjoy my freedom. Scrounge together enough bits for a zero G. Other than that, can't say as I do. Okay. Hey, not for nothing. But I saw you wander out of that ship over there by the dock. Wouldn't happen to be yours, would it? Uh, y y y yes. Captain of the Unreliable, me. Captain of the Unreliable. You're like something out of a serial drama. Hey, I don't want to talk your ears off, guessing you got places to be. I appreciate your time. Okay, I never caught your name. I'm Montgomery. Felix Millstone. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Okay. See you around, boss. I got the feeling he was about to ask for a job. Whoop. Going for a stroll around the docking base? Did you get the feeling he was about to ask for a job? I got the feeling he was about to ask for a job, and I was actually thinking to myself, you know what? Having somebody who knows the area might be a good idea, although maybe having someone that everyone isn't annoyed with would be a better idea. Question. Where are we headed? Um, head back to the ship. No, 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 no. We're going to head inside. We're... Does it matter which way we go in? Probably not. This is... Okay, that's workbench. Commandant Sanita and Private Lee Flores. Commandant Sanita? Unless you're here to file an incident report or to inquire about the bounty posting, I must kindly ask you to clear out. The Mardet's offices aren't for leisure time nor loitering. No, no, no. I, I'm interested in the McRed bounty. Where can, who? The McRed, give me a, did, 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 is there a bet? McRed Bounty? Phineas? Fi okay, yeah, 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 yeah. For several counts of public intoxication, destruction of ground breaker, pro bre breaker property, unpaid docking fees, and resisting arrest. Right. That was it. Right, yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, I was just, just checking. Unless you're here to file an incident report or to inquire about the bounty posting, I must kindly ask you to clear out. I am. The Mardet's offices aren't for leisure time no, nor was, loitering. Yeah, I was just refreshing my memory. I'm interested in that McRed bounty. Where can I find him? Last tip we got pointed toward the back bays. You want the reward? Do the legwork. All uh, right. Okay. I'll take the posting. Why don't you send a Mardet to a... F no, 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 no. I'll, I'll take it. You and about six other enterprising mavericks. It's only a matter of time before someone brings me McRed's head. Or his lucky lighter. as proof of kill. Head or lighter? I do hope you're the lucky hunter, though. Good luck and skip speed to you. Okay. Uh, thank you. What bounties do you have available? Do you have any others? Still waiting to hear back on that bounty oh. for McRed. Out of sight. Not much else. Groundbreakers keeping calm at the moment. Okay, that's, that's good. That is good. So what's it like working security detail on a space station? Do I look like your gossipy best friend? 
While I'm on post, I take my duties real serious. I would have no qualms whatsoever escorting you to a cell. Understand? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. No one talks to me like that. Yeah, I have a feeling that that would be a... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, fine, fine, fine. Then get to business or get moving. Right, let's not get... I'm going to go. Let's not get arrested. We've only just arrived. Okay, then. I picked up this weird signal the other day. It was coming from Monarch. Okay. Here we go again. No one lives on Monarch. It's a wasteland. You were hearing things. No, seriously. There was a lot of static at first, but then this voice said his name was Graham? Graham, right. Broadcasting on a dead world full of monsters. Now I've heard everything. You know, it takes more muscles to frown than to smile. Who told you that? Um, okay. Whoa. That? Rizzo's Lemon Slap. Slap your whole family tonight. Way to ruin a good first impression. They like their neon here, don't they? Before we head off into there, I just want to get my bearings. Always good to know, you know, the lay of the... Okay. I just... I mean... Backpack, that sounds useful, but that is, that is... I mean, I know nobody would notice, but I'm not a thief. I'm not a thief. Although that just seems to be lying around. I almost feel like that's just somebody's left some junk behind and... Okay, we're not starting off our visit here by stealing. Things. This Hel is Halcyon News. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement okay, for the Okay, this is story. a barrack of sorts. The board would like to remind spacers and other travelers that passage to Monarch is restricted for your protection. Canyons of acid and sulfur rain are the least of the horrors plaguing the surface of Monarch. Okay, that's good Our to know. I live as one with the guess. animals, lawless, savage, and unemployed. Not the board of ours ensures that nothing can leave the planet and threaten our hardworking citizens. This is depressing. You've been listening to Halcyon. Really News. is. Your mandated duty as a good citizen of Halcyon. Wait. It's a mandated. Sorry about that. I just. Um, it's a mandated duty to listen to the news. Good grief. Okay. So... Rizzo's Purpleberry Bunch. A soft, sour candy shell around a sweet purpleberry flavored center. Suck it. Chew it. You can do it. Okay. You made that sound ridiculously creepy. Rizzo's Lemon Slap. Slap your whole family tonight. That just... Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's, let's not be slapping our family. Um... Rest and go, Spacer's Choice, Bell's Shells, The Lost Hope. All right. This was Rest and Go. Ooh, can we rent an upstairs room? Oh, oh, is this? Oh, is this? We can, we can get a place to sleep here? That's probably a good idea. Hello? How do you do? And uh, welcome to the rest and go. We used to be the go and rest, but folks never knew when to leave. Sorry. Oh, okay. Business has been slow. Anything to occupy the time. That was a joke. Um, I'm looking for gla- Ooh. Um, do you do business with the promenade merchants? I'm just, I'm making small talk. Of course. Most of our supplies come and go through merchants. 
company ships and salvage runs are the only traffic we tend to get. Right. I try and steer clear of that creepy fellow in the moon mask. If there's a cost to being a company man, he paid it in spades. Creepy fellow in the moon. Are you saying that fellow is an actual real fellow? How's life on the groundbreaker? Fine, as long as the board keeps its grubby mitts to itself. Right. Chief Tennyson holds the ship together, the promenade holds our economy together, and Sublight is the shoddy jewel in our rusty old crown. All right, you mentioned Sublight, yeah. Our local garbage collectors. That Lilia Hagen never met a debris field she didn't like. She freely admits she planted her roots in Groundbreaker to escape board oversight, but I think there's more to it. She's unusual in the head, that one. I don't know. Escaping board oversight doesn't sound that uh, unusual in the head, if you ask me. How does Groundbreaker keep the board at bay? By being slightly more useful than it would be if to, you know, replace them or something. Our chief Tennyson has an independent streak, same as her mother and grandmother who rode this ship on the crossing. There's a reason the board's embassy is a glorified shoebox. While Junlei Tennyson lives and breathes, Groundbreaker remains free. Okay. I'm looking for Gladys. Oh, you can't miss her. Right behind you, number two. First unit oh. on the left, or second unit from the right, depending on which direction you count from. First unit on the... L right behind me. Right, right behind me. Uh, you've confused me with your directions. They're right behind me. Okay, let you know. Found her. Found a chest. All right, well, I got business with you, definitely. Bless my heart. A stranger come knocking on a poor old woman's door. You here for a particular reason? Or did the neighbors tell you how good my sugar cookies are? Made without a single natural ingredient, or an oven. Just like store-bought. So the store-bought, is what you're saying. You could probably knock off the sweet old lady thing. I know you could probably click your fingers and everyone would start shooting me or something. Phineas sent me, he said you could sell me a nav key to the Stellar Bay. Yeah? Those have been the height of illegality since Stellar Bay turned their noses up at the board. You and I could be thrown to the void just for discussing such a transaction. So let's Lucky just, for us, yeah. Groundbreaker's a free port. We're outside of the board's control. For the time being, at least. Now, I only have the one nav key. And they're hard to come by these days. It won't be cheap. If you find yourself lacking in the bits, I might have an opportunity you'd be interested in. Okay. Can we not say things like lacking in the bits? Because just that really could be taken the wrong way. But apparently, yes, I am, in fact, lacking in the bits. Any chance of a discount since Phineas sent me? No one's ever found my bits lacking. Yeah. You're not going to find that amusing at all, are you? You know what? Tell me about the opportunity. Well, I find I'm in need of a ship captain with a little... Moral flexibility. Might be this could help out the Groundbreaker, as well as earn some bits. But if you've got qualms... Qualms about what? Qualms about what? It depends on qual qualms. You're going to need to give me the details before I can qualm. Do you know Edna over in engineering? Sweet as a pea, that one. On occasion, she'll pass along transmissions I might find interesting. She sent me a recording of a distress signal she'd scraped from the Groundbreaker's comm array. Curious thing is, it came from an outpost called Roseway. And Antique Roseway. could have that place years ago. Roseway! Why was Roseway abandoned? Can't say I know for sure. Maybe it never really was. Comm centers don't operate themselves, Captain. Someone had to have sent that distress call manually. Those corpse are cleverer than all get out. Might have been a ruse to keep the rest of the board from sniffing around. Oh, no, no, say no more, I'm on it. I actually need to go there. I'm in. You've got an ear for intrigue and a nose for bits. I like that. 
Here's a copy of the SOS recording complete with the coordinates. If you should find a secret worth selling, might be I could find a buyer. Corporate bigwigs will pay top bit for inside information on their competitors. The more we got the corpse fighting each other, the less time they got to meddle in our affairs. I like your thinking. Abandoned outpost, corporate secrets, got it. Don't forget to come find old Gladys when you're done. Oh, absolutely wouldn't dream of it. Do you have any other jobs? Might want to acquaint yourself with Junlei Tennyson, Groundbreakers Chief. She's been trying to get a handle on this heat problem we've got. We're definitely heading You'll in that direction. You'll find her fighting in engineering. I'd say she's a sweet girl, but law for fen someone call me a liar. Okay. Um... Uh, let me just see what you've got for sale. I've got a lovely little throw pillow. Just something I toss together. Like to keep my hands busy. Yeah, and... Okay, so you're not going to sell me any... This is all restricted. I, I need... To be, uh, to be liked. Oh, but you will, however, sell me... Um, what, oh, you won't sell me... Do, do you even have the things that bypass security? Not, not lockpicks, but the bypass shunts. I knew I'd get there eventually. Whoa, Spaces Helper, Spaces... Salvager's Helper, Spaces Choice. This thing... Acid, the gift that keeps on going. The salvager's helper fires a hailstorm of corrosive bullets. The loading mechanism is complex, resulting in long reloads, and it costs 11,000. <gasps> you want that? 480 DBS. Is that a revolver or is it a pistol? That looks like a normal pistol. Acid. Battered mar, okay. What's this? An old data part once used by the Groundbreakers Mardet security forces from the accumulated dust and gram. It hasn't been accessed for over a decade. Hephaestus Mining Archive Cartridge. This data cartridge contains the public records of Hephaestus... Oh, see, see, I do... What, what are these? What are they, what are they considered to be? They're considered... Yeah, that's what I was thinking. <sighs> I don't want to waste money, but the idea of a data cartridge that contains some stuff and an old data pad used by the Groundbreakers Mardet Security Forces. <laughs> oh, that's that's information. Yes, it is. I want. I want. The old data pad contains incident reports from various Mardet security patrols. Most of the details are simple finds and dust ups between the crews of Wildcat freighters and corporate haulers. Two entries have been marked for later review. August the 7th, 2344. Responded to a code idiot at the Lost Hope. ID10T, really. Vera asked us to bounce some back bay rat that got himself soaked in Spectrum Red. Drunken fool got into a scuffle with one of Engineer Tennyson's people. We tossed the wrong leech back down to the bays. Asshole fought us the entire way, telling us we'd be sorry once he controlled the hammer's power. If this is some new Hammersmith marketing stunt, I'm complaining to Sanita. October the 25th, 2344. Had another run-in with the rung, rung leech from the Last Hope. Don't know how the uppity piker crawled out of the back bays without us noticing. Locked himself in the repair bay off of docking slip 13. Refused to come out, kept raving about the weapon's chaotic beauty or some shit while we were trying to talk him out. Had to break off when our shift ended. Whole head's gonna come out eventually. So he's still there? Interesting. Whoa, wait, 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 whoa. Acquire the science weapon of the ground. Oh, that's the science. Review the Hephaestus. Oh, oh, I have to, I have to. Okay, I have to review that log on my ship. I have to review that log on my ship. Am I even allowed to go back to my ship now? I want, I want, to, I want to review that log. We can't get a room here. Can I? I mean, they won't let us fly off. They're not going to prevent us going in the ship, surely? Because I want to know what that says. I need as much information as humanly possible because um, we need an angle. 
Oh, no, 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 no. We need an angle on bloody you. Oh, just. Hey there, you mind stepping back? This charming little ship's been impounded, and I'm afraid I can't let you near it till it's not. God, can you help me get this cleared up? I'd surely love to, but that's just not my bailiwick. You'll want to have words with our representative here from the board, Mr. Udom Bedford. Yeah. His office is on the promenade. Right, okay, um, don't touch my ship. Does it, does it seem hot in here to you? I ain't felt so much as a tepid breeze in weeks. I hope Miss Chief Tennyson gets that fixed soon. Well, it doesn't smell as bad here as Edgewater's graveyard in high summer, so guess I can't complain. Whew. I'm starting to feel like a sisty roast in all this armor. You could go and take a break. Don't... Don't touch my ship, please. Just leave it alone, yeah? Gosh, I wouldn't dream of it. Not unless I got to, and I don't see any reason why I'd gotta. Do you? She's a good ship, ma'am. Mostly doesn't act up at all. Happy to hear it. Okay. Have yourself a pleasant day. Really? That revolting, chippy cheerfulness is going to annoy me. Oh. Okay, right, so... The news packet had the toss ball scores from Deconis. We... Want to go in there at some point. Bell's shells, waste disposal, Bell's shells. You are a... You know that sound when you've snapped on an injector clip? Ah, <sighs> that's how you know your weapon loves you back. Okay. I got a full line of weapon modifications I'd be happy to show you. I... What's the benefit of modifying my weapons? That sounds like a stupid question, so let's not ask it. Uh, let me see what you've got for sale. Um, do you have any interest? You've just got a lot of rev... Okay. I like the look of that. If you want some serious firepower and you aren't ready to step up to a heavy weapon, then t &L Auto Magline is for you. That does look very nice. I'm just saving up for something I saw in another shop. I don't really, really, really want a dead eye assault rifle. Oh, I like the look of that as well. And that. Just, it's, it's just, oh, oh okay. Let, no, you don't have any outfits. You do have mods, Magnum, Fun Times Barrel, and Extendos. Okay, that is restricted stock. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay, uh, n never mind. I'm, 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 I am interested in, in what you have for sale. Waste disposal. I probably don't need to go there. And as much as I want to get the lay of the l we did agree we would give, uh, deliver a message to the medical bay with Spacer's Choice. However, Halcyon. Yeah. That's probably where I'm going to have to see Udom. And I don't want to see him until I've got a little more information. So what have we got? That's Sublight. I'm looking for the engineer, I think. Going to the public terminal. Public notices. Regarding the food situation, to those of you who've raised concerns about the quality of the groundbreakers' vittles, yes, I'm aware the promenade stinks. Allow me to put the matter to rest. Our ancestors didn't rise from humble beginnings on a diet of spratwurst and borst, but that's the reality of life up here. If you can salt it, can it, or zip it up in a pouch, then we're not picky about calling it food. Spacers make do with what they have, and what we have is smelly meat, lots of salt, and 11 kinds of mustard, last time I counted. Try to enjoy it. Good advice. Sh oh, ship impounded. This is a general notice about our impound policies. If the board impounded your ship, take it up with the board. Their embassy is in the gaudy building opposite Sublight's warehouse. Send them your questions, outstanding fees, and hate mail. Especially hate mail. If Groundbreaker impounded you, pay your damned fees and don't bother my p. 
people. Can we pay a fee? Looking for work. Urgently looking for a new crew to sign up, uh, sign on with. I've been stuck in Halcyon for almost a year now. Don't know what's holding up my next posting. Never had to wait this long to get on another freighter. I'd planned to take one of the rare long hauls back to Earth, but I haven't been able to find any. And even the shorter skips to the inner world seem rarer than the outer world routes these days. If anyone has any information upon upcoming work, please post it here. If you left your name, maybe people could contact you. Down on my luck. Hey, so here's my story. My ship limped into Groundbreaker in a rough state. We couldn't make the repair fees, the docking fees, refueling, or the fees not for not being able to pay our fees. So I'm kind of stuck here now. Then they took my ship and sold it off as scrap. Now my credit is shot to hell and corporate freighters won't hire me. I'm hoping someone with a bunk to spare and places to go is feeling charitable. Thanks for listening. This notice has been posted 56 times in 632 days. So there might be people looking for work. Okay, so we we Go do. Go back to Byzantium. You Have you seen this man? For more offers. Yeah, no one wants you on Groundbreaker. Any terrorists are any sightings to your local and embassy. Or I'll detain you for trespassing. Oh, real scary. You're really gonna arrest us on our station? Yeah, this is Chief Jun Lee's ship. You don't own shit here. Step back! I'm required by board bylaws to use excessive force. The Mardets yes. would space you for trying, you... you waste of O2 scrubbers. Yeah, O2 scrubbers. Look, just get out of here before I your captain what you're getting up to on the clock. Ah, whatever. We got a date at the Lost Hope anyway. Is this really what you want to be doing with your life, Marcy? Guarding stairs for that walking mustache, Udom fucking Bedford? I gotta get off this detail. Okay, Udom has a mustache. We have something in common. That was a little... odd. Greasy. Um... Hearty greeting, potential customer. Welcome to Auntie's Kitchen. A home-style consumable protein dispensary. May this unit dispense proteins for your ingestion. I'm not really peckish right about now. I see so you're a glorified vending machine. This unit is programmed to simulate shock at such assertions. Shock simulation non-functional. A trouble ticket has been filed. Uh, I could possibly fix that for you. Shock simulation restored. Initiating shock subroutine. How dare you? Shock subroutine complete. Estimated guilt level of customer increased by 35%. Resuming protein dispensation protocol. May this unit dispense proteins for your ingestion. Yeah, there may be something wrong with your evaluation circuits because I feel zero shame or guilt or embarrassment about what I just said, so... Let's see what you've Beginning got. Dispensing sequence. Trade. Please unblock all relevant facial protein ingestion tubes. Yeah, I tell you what. Definitely losing whatever appetite I didn't already have. Uh, I'm I'm just I'm heading in. Nobody. Okay, is that a heat shimmer I see before me? This is how those XF411s and an old Yakita 37? You think they'd let me peek at the power plant? Crossbow finals are scheduled okay. to air soon, but a scandal has rocked the league and thrown this pivotal game. Are we game obliged to listen to this? Both teams have tested negative for performance enhancing stims. A toss ball first. Negative. Coaches and referees are debating how and if. This behavior could lead to an unfair advantage. This has been Halcyon News, your only source for news in the Halcyon colony. I'm sorry, they're, 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 they're trying to figure out how not cheating might be giving either or both teams an advantage.
Yeah, I can I can see how that might actually be suspicious. 